We already know a lot about parabolas, but we're going to introduce a few new terms here. If you look at this picture, you see a focus, directrix, and lattice rectum. Now what these three things represent are a new way to define a parabola. When you think about how a satellite works, a satellite dish that is, it takes beams of energy coming from space and bounces them into a single point. And that single point is called the focus. It's where everything is reflected into if something's coming from straight down above. So if you think about a flashlight, it uses the opposite effect, where the bulb is sitting right here at the center, and it bounces light outwards so that you get a nice beam of light in front of you. So rehashing the definitions here, a parabola is a set of all points in a plane that are the same distance from a given point called the focus and a given line called the directrix. That means that if you have a point on this parabola, it is some distance linearly traveling from the focus to the parabola and the same distance if you go straight down to this line called the directrix. And this will work for all points on the parabola. And so forth. The line segment that is perpendicular to the axis of symmetry, so going horizontal in this case, and goes through the focus is called the lattice rectum. So this green line here goes through the focus perpendicular to the axis of symmetry. The length of that line is 1 over a. So if we ever need to calculate that, we can look at our a value and have 1 over a give us the length of that line. Now, another thing that we're going to want to know a lot is how far the directrix or the focus is from our vertex. Now, we're used to calculating our vertex. Vertex is going to be right here along the axis symmetry and on the parabola. The distance from the vertex to the focus, so the focus being here, vertex being here, or the distance from the directrix to the focus, both of these lengths are the same, is going to be 1 over 4a. So again, if we know a, we can calculate that distance. In some of the previous videos, you've seen that we can write the equation of a parabola in vertex form defined for y or defined for x. Now if it's defined for y, then it's going to be our vertex's x-coordinate, h, inside the parentheses. If it's defined for x, that's going to be outside the parentheses. And then the opposite for y. The y term is going to be outside the parentheses when it's defined for y, or inside the parentheses next to the y when it's defined for x. Let's try out an example. Find the focus point, directrix equation, and length of a lattice rectum for x equals 4y squared plus 3y. First thing that I like to do is make a quick sketch. So we see that this is a positive coefficient out front. So that means that we're going to be facing to the right. The focus is always somewhere in this general region here central to the, the vertex, so straight across from the vertex. If it's opening right, it'll be to the right of the vertex. And our directrix line is going to be behind our parabola. So this quick little sketch should give you some kind of mental reference to help you out. So let's go ahead and calculate some of these points now. If we want to find our vertex, we always use negative b over 2a. In this case, b is 3, a is 4 plug that in, and we're going to get negative 3 eighths. That's the x value, or excuse me, the y value of our vertex. We plug that in to the equation, and we're going to get that negative 3 eighths in for y and in for y. If we plug that all into our calculator, we're going to get negative 45 64 so a little bit messy 
that means that our vertex here, I'll go ahead and write this in. We are originally calculating for y. So our y value is going to be negative 3 eighths. Our x value is going to be negative 45 60 fourths. As we mentioned before, our parabola is opening to the right. So we can get that down right away. The distance from the focus to the vertex or vertex to directrix. That's where we know it's 1 over 4a. And in this case, our a value is going to be 4. So we would plug in 4 for a and get 1 over 16. So that means it's a very short distance in this case between our vertex and our focus, or our vertex and our directrix line. So now if we're going to write the focus, what we're really doing with this 1 16th is shifting our x coordinate either left or right. In the case of the focus, the focus is to the right since it's opening to the right. So this is why it's important to draw this picture because otherwise it's, this can get real confusing real fast. Since our focus is to the right of our vertex, we're going to add it to add that distance that we calculated, that 1 16th, to the x coordinate of our vertex. So we're going to have our negative 45 60 fourths. And if we add that 1 16th to the x value of our of our vertex, we're going to be able to get our focus. So let's add in that 1 16th, and our y coordinate would stay the same because we're just shifting it to the right. So we're just adding to our x. And that's going to simplify down to negative 41 60 fourths, negative 3 eighths. Again, pretty nasty numbers when you start talking about an a value of 4 where you get very small fractions, they can get very nasty very quickly. Our directrix here is on the left. So if we want to figure out what x value this line is at, we need to shift our vertex to the left 1 16th. That's the distance between our vertex in the center here and our directrix line. So we're going to do almost the same thing we did with the focus, except go the other direction. So x equals negative 45 60 fourths minus 1 16th. And that's going to simplify to x equals negative 49 60 fourths. The length of the lattice rectum is going to be 1 over a. And that's going to be the absolute value because the length always has to be positive. a in this case we know is 4, so just plug it in. And the length of the lattice rectum is 1 4. So these can be very messy. If you draw yourself a picture, you're much more likely to be successful on these. A quick sketch will go a long way, and possibly even labeling those with some of the numbers uh, might help too. So let's go ahead and do one more here. This should, should be a little bit easier since it's defined for y, so we don't have to mentally adjust. We can use the parabolas we're used to. So this one here is in vertex form, x plus 3 squared plus 6. And so we know that it's going to open up because 1 is defined for y, so it's going to be either up or down. And we don't have a coefficient out front, which means it's a positive 1, and it's going to open upwards. So if we're drawing a quick sketch, we have a parabola opening upwards, a focus somewhere down here, and a directrix line below it. Our vertex we can always get by looking at what's in the parentheses. So paired with that x here is a 3. We take the opposite of what's in the parentheses. So in that case, our vertex x value will be negative 3. And our vertex y value here is going to be a positive 6. Direction of opening, we already said, is going to be upwards because our a value is positive. The distance from the focus to the vertex, or the directrix to the vertex, that small distance in there is always going to be 1 over 4a. In this case, a is 1, so that means it's just going to be 1 4. If they're 1 4th of a unit apart, 
and we know our vertex, and they're up and down from each other, that means that we need to, in this case, look at our y value and add 1 fourth. So our focus, our x coordinate, will stay the same. Our y coordinate, we add 1 fourth to it, and that's going to give us the point negative 3, again, same as our vertex, and then 25 fourths, so just a little bit above 6. Directrix is below, so same idea here. We're just looking at the line. A horizontal line we know is defined for y, so it's going to be a y equals, and we're going to look at our old y coordinate 6 and subtract 1 fourth since we're moving down. So subtract 1 fourth, and that's going to give you y equals 23 fourths. Remember to put your y equals in there because this is the equation of a line not a single point. So since we're writing the equation of a line, remember your y equals. Finally, la length of your lattice rectum, the line that goes through the focus and touches both sides of the parabola here, is going to be uh, 1 over a. a is 1, so simple enough. 